What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink Gang, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. I can't show my appreciation enough for every single thing that you guys do to support the channel. Please keep it up. I really, really appreciate it. Today, I have an awesome, amazing video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to get the best out of the arcade VST. Yes, I know that you can do a lot of amazing things with arcade and it has a lot of amazing things inside of it, but there's also a way that you can deal with arcade outside of the plugin. It's a very, very simple, easy trick, and it sometimes it's just not thought about inside of the MPC. But I'm gonna show you how I use it. This has enhanced my workflow and hopefully it will absolutely enhance your workflow as well. So now that I have your mouth watering, before we get into the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also smash that bell notification to keep up with the content just like this that I will be bringing. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the MPC software and let me show you how I deal with Arcade. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are live inside the MPC software and I'm gonna show you just this little hack uh, using the Arcade VST. As you guys know, I have been using Arcade for a while and I'm really, really liking it. So I'm figuring out different things that I can do with it to kind of add to my workflow and do what I want to do with it. So I'm going to show you just a little trick that I use. Check this out. What you can do is you can go to your track and pull Arcade up. You know, I always start on track two, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Arcade VST real quick. Let's go to output, grab Arcade. Now, the first thing you want to do is go down and find your samples, whatever you want to, whatever you want to grab in arcade, you know, so uh, it's pretty straightforward. This isn't an, an arcade tutorial, you know, so I'm assuming you guys know how to use arcade. If you don't, then just look it up online on how to use arcade. It'll show you how to, how to do all of this, but you can browse your loops, your kits, your, all of that. So I want to go to loops. That's what, that's just my particular preference. I want to, I want to grab some loops. So let's look for like a piano, piano melody. That's what we're going to type in here. Hopefully it gives us some some good piano melody. Let's see if it gives us something nice. Take that. I'm gonna download that. And so what you do is you hit the download key right here to download it. Then you can drag it to a key on in uh, on your piano roll. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drag it to the first one there. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we have it there. And then let's see if we can grab something else, maybe. That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. Drag that as well. So we have that there. What you can do is once you grab your samples and you have them laid out on your keyboard, just like we're ready to play them on Arcade, how Arcade does, you can play your samples on your keyboard however you want. Once you have that done, what you do is you go into the MPC software right here. We're going to use the hardware controller to do it. And it's very simple. All you do is go to sampler up here at the top. It's the one, two, three, fourth, fourth button here at the top, sampler. And what sampler allows you to do is sampler allows you to resample back into the MPC software. So whatever's planned in your MPC software, we have arcade planned in the MPC software. So whatever is planned in the MPC software, you can resample that sound back into the MPC and then get a sample from it. So all we're gonna do is just literally take what we put on these keys right here, we're gonna resample it back into the MPC, that way we can do we can use it the way we want inside of the MPC instead of using it in Arcade. So what you do is you go up to the top tab right here where it'll start out on input one and two. So you go up there and you scroll all the way down to where it says resample. You, say, you, you grab resample left and right. We want the left and right channel, stereo. So now we're ready to we set the MPC to to uh, sample and to resample the sound that we're going to play. 
I drop the the uh, DB level right here all the way to zero. That way, whenever the, the sound starts, the NPC will will pick it up. And then all I do is hit arm, and then I play the sound, and I record it back into the NPC. All that's all resample is. Resample is just recording back into the NPC what you want, what you what you want to deal with as a sample. So we're gonna literally record these chops back into the NPC. So let's 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 make sure we got the first one ready. And if you notice when you when you do it here on the screen, when you do it right here, you're gonna notice the meter for when a sound comes through. Okay, so just make sure this is on this is on um, resample. That's what you want, resample left and right. You want to resample back into the NPC. Okay, now we're gonna hit arm and then we're gonna play our sound. Let's do it. There we go. That's one that we have. Now what it allows us to do is it allows us to save the name of the sample. So we're going to we're going to save the name of the sample this as piano melody. Okay, that's our first sample. Okay, and then we hit keep. We want to keep the sample and what it does is it puts it in our sample in our sample catalog. It puts it right here in our piano melody in our samples catalog right here. So that's our first sample. Okay? So now we're ready to go ahead on and record our second sample now. So that's what we want to do now. Let's see. Let's do that. We want to do the same exact thing, but we want to go to the next key. Okay, so let's hit arm. Let's label that. Um, let's label that synth piano. Sounds like a little bit of a synth piano. Okay, so we're gonna keep that. Okay, now we have both of our samples inside the NPC software right here. That's what that's what they are now. We have our piano melody and we have our synth melody. So what we can do now, we can double click on a sample. And now we have it to edit inside of our software. We can edit the sample. Instead of doing it in Arcade, using it in Arcade, we have it resampled back into the MPC software as a sample. Check it out. So that's our sample plan. And then all you do is just go to Process, and then you can go to Normalize just to give it some volume. Go to Normalize, okay. And then let's chop off the, the beginning and ending of these samples. Let's do that. Up off the beginning here. Okay, so now we have that ready. Now we can do the different things that we want to do with it inside of the NPC software. I can pitch this sample if I want. All right, let's go to trim. Let's go to chop. And then we're going to chop this up. Now we have that as a sample chopped up. Let's convert it. Okay, we're gonna take our arcade plugin off of track two, and we're gonna switch that to a sample program and put our sample on 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 track two. Let's lay down our sequence real quick. So now we got our first sample taken care of. So let's do the same thing with the next sample. We're going to double click on that one. And that's our next sample that we have. Let's go to process and we're going to normalize that as well. Give it some volume. Do it. Okay, now let's find a loop. All right, 
so let's time stretch that to let's time stretch that to 168 that's the tempo of our beat we're gonna go to 32 we're gonna put that on 32 because it's a it's a it's a 16 bar loop in double time so that's 32 it's telling me that it's, it's 16509 so it's pretty much right there so let's time stretch that to 168 that way it matches our tempo do it okay then we're gonna chop that up let's do it by our regions there we go let's hit shift invert we're going to hit do it we're gonna put that on a new track so let's go to track three and then we're gonna put our, our synth piano on there let's do it So now we got a nice little something going for a beat, and then we can keep doing that all we want, you know. Like we can, we can, I can go to track four. Let's go to our next track, and we're gonna go back to our plugin tab, back to arcade, put put arcade on our number four track right here. That way we can pull our arcade, and we can resample re -sample something else back into the NBC. Let's, so let's find something else. Let's say female vocal. Okay, so let's see if we can find something. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's just grab that. We're going to grab that and we're going to pull it to an empty slot. The next empty slot. Okay, so we're going to go back to the NPC. We're going to go back to Sampler and then we're going to get ready to, to record this into the NPC. Let's do it. We hit arm. There we go. Now we have that. So let's read. Let's name that vocal Vox. Okay, and we hit keep. So now we have that recorded into the MPC software, ready to go. Okay. So let's go back to track four. We're gonna put that back on plugin. Take that off of the off of the arcade. Switch it back to plugin because we're gonna need to to edit this sample. So let's double click on vocal. And the good thing about doing this is. It keeps the arcade is already putting your samples in key. It's already in key. So you don't see me changing the key of these samples or anything. Arcade already put it in key. So when we resample it into the NPC software, anything you sample is in key with the beat. So I don't have to change key. I don't have to change nothing. I have to change pitch. All I have to do is just chop it up. Let's go to chop. And let's chop this up manually. Okay, so we have the vocal chops on track five, ready to go. We can go ahead and put a little, put some, a few little effects. Let's go to our Kai Delay Sync real quick. We can go to the Akai chorus effect. Gotta beef it up a little bit. Let's go four voice chorus. Now it's time to start adding on to it. Let's pull up a piano plugin that we can put some chords behind this. Pull up a nice piano. Let's drop some drums on it. Let's do that.
there's our beat, nice little beat, and we use just a little method of resampling back into the NPC software with the arcade plugin. That's just a little trick that I want to show you guys. Once I came across it and I start to understand what I can do with it, it just kind of opened my realm up as to what I can do with arcade. So, you know, I hope you guys can use that. I hope you guys can learn from that. That's it, guys. Very simple. All you're doing inside of the NPC software is resampling what's already in arcade. So all you do is just pull up the arcade VST, find your loops, find everything, make sure you drag them to your keyboard, play them inside of the NPC software, and now you can resample them back. And you can use the NPC effects and the way you deal with the NPC to deal with the arcade loops. Now, just from that, you can build a whole entire loop library just from loops you find in arcade. And the good thing about it is, as you saw in the video, you can keep everything in key. So you can build loop packs in key. You can build loop sequences in key. You can do all of that just from the arcade VST and resample back inside your NPC software. Feel free to use this trick with whatever DAW that you're using. You can resample back into pretty much any DAW, Ableton, FL, any type of DAW that you guys are using, Logic Pro, whatever you guys are using, you can figure out a way to resample back into the DAW and use these loops and use the features inside of your software instead of using the features inside of Arcade. So I hope you guys got something from this video. If you did, please make sure that you smash that like button and also drop me a comment below. That way this video can be put in front of the people that will benefit from it and you guys can help out with that. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description for my sample packs as well. Make sure you go grab those. It's the Omni sample pack and also the Striker and the Dungeon Drum Kits. You can check out my sound kit store and grab those for yourself. I'm gonna jump back inside of this VST and start resampling some more things. This is the Kid DZD, AKA The Drink Kang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.